What is the best time for a career change? Well, let me ask you this. What is worse than waking up every single day to go to a job that you hate? Well, what's your answer? <laughs> Maybe a lot of things, but for the purpose of this video, I would say absolutely nothing is worse than waking up every single day going to the job that you really hate. So did you know that on average, by the age of 50, most people have had 12 different jobs still trying to figure out what they really want and what's the right fit. And maybe you're one of these people and maybe you're sitting in a job thinking, well, you know what? I'm meant to do this. This is just it. There's nothing better out there. Stop right there because I'm here to tell you, yes, you can live a life that you love. You can have more freedom. You can wake up in a good mood and be excited for the day to come. I was in your shoes in a job that I really didn't like and I thought, this is it. This is it for the rest of my life. But no, I made a change and I'm living the life that I love and the life of freedom. So let me take you to these nine signs that it's time for a career change. And I hope you will pay attention. And if you relate to any of these, or if you recognize any of these, it's time to make a change. And don't let it come to the point of burning out, the point where I was. I did not recognize these signs when I was in my corporate job. I just thought, this is it, you know, I'm meant to do this. Let me push a little bit more and push a little bit more and just go and go again and go day after day until I hit a big fat burnout. That, my friend, is not what I want for you. So let's dive into these nine signs right now. The first sign is you feel disconnected. You feel mentally exhausted. You feel like you're, you're, you're as a robot, you know, an automated pilot. You're just doing the things, the repetitive tasks day after day, but you're disconnected. This is not what makes you enthusiast. This is not what makes you tick. This is not like waking up and saying, yes, happy to do this again another day. No, it's the opposite. That is sign number one, you feel disconnected. Number two is you don't feel like you're doing something meaningful. You feel like you're just doing these repetitive tasks, but for who and for what? To please your boss? You know, you're just one of the numbers of employees in the corporate or in that job and you're just doing your tasks, but it's just, it's not meaningful. It doesn't fulfill you. You're not making an impact. You're just doing your repetitive tasks but there's nothing there. There's, there's, you're not being valued for what you do. You're not being appreciated. You're actually being undervalued for what you do. And that's a shame. That's a shame. You wanna do something and have an impact and do something meaningful. Number three, you dread going to work. The alarm clock goes off in the morning and you just wanna snooze and hit snooze again and hit snooze until the day passes by, but no, you have to go. And you're dragging yourself to work and oh my God, do I recognize this so much. I'm just going back in my memories and just really wanted to hit that snooze button over and over again and just really working day after day, really desiring for the weekend to come, but then it's Friday, you feel a bit more relieved because the weekend is almost there. You're quite enjoying the Saturday, but then I already hated my Sunday because I knew when it was Sunday that Monday was gonna turn around on the, on the corner here and, and, and there we go again for another week. So I never had a, a full weekend of joy or relaxation because I was always so concerned of, oh no, it's almost Monday again. My weekend is almost over. And I just dreaded going to work. Number four, even your salary is not making up for that dissatisfaction that you have. I remember this as well. You know, I was having so much stress and yes, there's a beautiful paycheck and I even had a job with a beautiful car and, and not just the money, but a lot of benefits. All money related, all money related, but it didn't satisfy me. So it came up to a point where it's like, yes, I have the money, but I'm not happy. And if that's you, like really think about your inner self, your well-being, like do you really feel joy and excitement and happiness or are you just doing it for the money? But is the money making up for your satisfaction? 
And yes, on the outside, it may look like, oh, you have it all, you have a great job and you're happy and you have great money and all. Oh, and that's what people told me, like, wow, you have it all, Rachel, you're so happy. But deep down, I was crawling away. I was so stressed, I was exhausted, I was, I was drained. And I really, really hated it. Talking about soul-sucking job, yes. Even if it gave me a beautiful title and status, no, the paycheck did not make up for it anymore. Number five, it starts affecting your personal life. What do I mean? Because you're so drained, because you're so tired, because you're cranky and irritated and moody, of course you are, because you're just doing day after day so many hours, things that you don't enjoy, you're surrounded in an environment by people that you, you don't wanna be with anymore. It affects your personal life because you're so tired, you don't feel like going out to a party, you don't feel like socializing, you're cranky and moody and irritated with friends and family. Maybe they don't even ask you anymore because of that. Or maybe you're just too tired and you don't want anymore. So it really starts affecting your personal life as well. Number six, it starts affecting your health. Yes, stress, chronic stress really can start affecting your health. And for many people, it can come out in the sense of um, uh, migraines. Or for me, I had stomach aches all the time, chronic stomach aches. I had an irritable bowel syndrome. It was, it was so painful. For years, I was sitting in the office, like, like leaning down in the back of my chair, like really having so, so, so much stomach aches. And it was all stress related. I didn't recognize this sign. I thought, okay, it's my nutrition or it's, 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 I don't know. I need some medicine or it's maybe inherited and family related. And I had all these tests and medicine and oh my gosh, when I think about it, all the things that I've done to cure what I thought was, you know, a disease or an illness, but no, the cause, the root cause was the stress, the chronic stress of doing a job that I didn't like about spending hours and hours and hours day after day month after month year after year doing something that didn't fulfill me that wasn't aligned with me that didn't make me happy but again i thought this is it this is what i'm meant to do right so make sure you pay attention to your health do you have more headaches than normal more stomach aches do you are there any any other bodily aches and pains that you are experiencing you know more infections or any of any kind it could very well be a sign that this is time for you to change a career. Number, where am I? Eight uh, or seven. Number seven is you start daydreaming about another career. You know, you sit back and you really daydream about what if I had that type of career? What if I was doing this? What if, and you're just really more and more looking at others or looking at and seeing other careers or really daydreaming, what would it be like if I had that? When you start thinking, daydreaming, fantasizing about another career, hmm, that's definitely, definitely another sign. Number eight, you are making your parents or other people or your partner or relatives happy and proud, but it's not you. You're making others proud. And that's what I was doing for the longest time as well. And I recognize that so much when I work with my clients, they're like, yeah, but you know, my partner or my parents are, they're so proud of me because I have this title now and I'm a manager or a commercial manager or, or whatnot. And you have the status, right? Ooh, my daughter or my son is now working as a manager in this company. It's the status, but you're making other people proud. But what about yourself? What about that happiness inside of yourself? That is what really matters. But we forget that because it's so important to, to please other people. But remember, years from now, when you're growing, when you're older and you look back upon your life, what life are you gonna look back upon? A life like, ooh, I made all these people happy or I lived a life without regrets and I made myself happy. And the longer you're staying in this current career that is really draining you, well, in a year from now or in five years from now, what then? You will be older and still in the same place and even more stressed and more sick. The last sign I wanna talk about is a question for you. If, I'm gonna ask you, if money was no issue, you had all the resources that you wanted, would you stay 
in your current career? Is the answer no way? Then you know, then you know, then you know this career is not right for you. Okay, and again, I'm here to tell you it's possible to change. It's possible. So how, Rachel, how? Well, <laughs> let me tell you how. The way I work with my clients, the steps that I have taken to live my freedom life and travel the world is, first of all, make sure to figure out what it is that you really like. Figure out what are your skills and strengths that fulfill you, that make you tick, that is aligned with your passion. But then what career fits with that? Because it's not just, oh, I'm so passionate about music, but wait, is there a career out there so that you can make money? Because let's be honest, I'm talking more in my videos about money because money is important. I will never ever say to someone, hey, take the leap of faith, jump. No, never jump without a parachute. You need a plan and that's what I work on all the time. You need to transition. You don't quit overnight. You cannot get rich overnight. You need a plan, take the steps, actionable, clear steps so that you can leave your job and finally discover and do what you love. And yes, it's possible. It is possible. And I just, I can't say it enough. I'm doing it. I'm helping my clients do it. So all you need is a clear plan with steps so that you can have that life of freedom. Life is short. Remember that life is short and you want to live a life without regrets. Well, if you don't mind, then go ahead. But if you're like me and you came to this channel and you want to change your career and live a life without regrets and have the freedom that you want doing what you want, then it's time to discuss that. You can book a call with me. The link is right below. There are more resources and free courses right there below in the description and in the comments but I'm here to help you make that plan. It's time. If you recognize any of these nine signs, yes, then it's time for you to make a change, to start figuring out, breaking down all the walls that people have built up like, oh, but you're good in this and do this and stay in this career and wow, what a status and all these benefits and woohoo, stay in there. No, don't stay in there if it makes you miserable. And that means step out of your comfort bubble and let's take steps into that life of happiness that life of happiness. Talking about money and happiness, make sure to watch my next video about money and happiness and how to make all of that happen. And I'll see you in my next video. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, please. Okay, and hit that like button. And please, please, please comment below. Any questions? I'd love to help you.